And with just one more day to go, we now have the chance to elect a 45th president who will build on our progress, who will finish the job, who already has the respect of leaders around the world and the people they serve, who is smart and who is steady and who is tested. Someone who comes to this office as well prepared as anyone who has ever run, more than me, more than Bill, the next president of the United States, Hillary Clinton. More than his policies or his plans, though. Throughout his campaign, Donald Trump has shown utter contempt for the values that make this nation great. Anyone who sees women as objects, minorities and immigrants as inferior, other faiths as presumptively un-American, cannot lead this diverse, dynamic, big-hearted big country that we love. And so all of this should give you reason enough to vote tomorrow. But you don't just have to vote against someone. You have somebody extraordinary to vote for. Philadelphia, you've got someone outstanding to vote for in Hillary Clinton. I'll be honest. I have had to bite my tongue after a lot of the nonsense I've heard people say about Hillary in this election. I can only imagine what Bill and Chelsea have been going through. You can declare with one voice that we are always stronger together. Tomorrow, with your vote, you can say that this country has always been great, that it is the greatest nation on earth a country where a girl like me from the south side of Chicago, whose great-great-grandfather was a slave, can go to some of the finest universities on earth. A country where the biracial son of a single mother from Hawaii and the son of a single mother from Hope, Arkansas, can both make it to the White House. 